The Big Bang wasn't the beginning. And more and more scientists now believe it is possible that our universe itself is located inside a black hole. Hard to believe, right? But the more data the James Webb Telescope delivers, the clearer it becomes that the familiar idea of a young universe no longer fits with current observations. New, downright crazy structures are constantly emerging, and they radically challenge our previous theories. The Big Bang was considered an irrefutable fact, but the truth is that theories that sounded like pure science fiction just a few years ago are now gaining traction. The James Webb Space Telescope is turning science upside down, and now it has even been announced that we live in a black hole. The evidence for this is said to be the direction of rotation of the galaxies discovered by the JWST in the early universe. A recent study by researcher Lior Shamir of Kansas State University shows that the directions of rotation of galaxies are not randomly distributed. It seems that the APOC we are looking at with the James Webb Telescope has a very specific direction of rotation. This does not fit with the assumption of an isotropic universe, in which galaxies would have to rotate to the left and right. But it is not true that almost all of the galaxies analyzed by Shamir rotate in the same direction. This indicates that our universe actually has a hidden direction, and this fact leads to another exciting assumption. If the universe had a direction, there must be a clock for this direction. If we follow the rules of physics, this clock must be enormous. What manages to ensure that all galaxies observed by the Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey rotate in the same direction? As part of the JADES project, hundreds of spiral galaxies that formed only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang were studied. Using computer-assisted analysis, Shamir was able to clearly determine that about 50% more galaxies rotate in the opposite direction to the Milky Way than in the same direction. In a truly isotropic, or in other words, uniform universe, the ratio should be approximately 50-50. Each direction of rotation is equally likely, but JWST shows a clear deviation. This asymmetry is so strong that it can be seen not only with algorithms, but even with the naked eye in the JWST images. This discovery points to a possible cosmic handedness, something we did not know about before. If the universe had a kind of built-in sense of rotation at that time, it can tell us more about the trigger. The Black Hole Mother Theory Ironically, a gigantic black hole is believed to be the trigger for the built-in sense of rotation. And not only that, this black hole is very likely the birthplace of our universe. In his study, Lior Shamir proves that the spin in the early universe now confirms the so-called black hole cosmology. The theory assumes that our universe could have originated inside a black hole in a higher level mother universe. If this black hole rotates, as almost all known black holes do, it could have passed on its angular momentum to the emerging universe. The observed rotational asymmetry of galaxies would then be nothing more than a fingerprint of this mother black hole and a cosmic legacy that is still visible today. Shamir's study does not provide a definitive answer but it does provide some strong evidence. The direction in which galaxies rotate could be the key to a much greater understanding. There is growing evidence that our universe itself is only a bubble in a much larger cosmic structure. If our universe is the child of a black hole, everything changes. Our entire cosmology must be rewritten. Black hole cosmology does not describe our universe as an isolated one-time event but rather as the product of a parent universe. According to this idea, what we experience as the Big Bang is not the absolute beginning, but rather a transition, a portal through a black hole that exists in a higher dimension. Black holes are predestined for this because they mark the boundaries of known physics. Within their event horizon, matter collapses under unimaginable gravitational forces, but instead of ending in a true singularity, as classical relativity theory assumes, some researchers suspect that in the extreme range, quantum and gravitational forces force a bounce, that is, a rebound of matter. This rebound could give rise to a new space-time, a complete universe expanding inside the black hole. In this view, our universe would still be the interior of a black hole today. 
the mother black hole existed in a larger cosmos, and its collapse led to the birth of our universe. This theory answers several puzzles at once. For example, why galaxy rotations, as seen in the Shamir study, show a directional tendency. The angular momentum of the mother black hole could have significantly influenced the new space-time, at least in the beginning. The idea fits almost seamlessly into Roger Penrose's cyclic cosmology. His idea of conformal cyclic cosmology states that the universes are constantly being reborn when an old universe reaches its final stage and fades away through black holes and radiation. The transition from one cycle to the next does not occur through complete destruction, but through transformation. Black holes play a key role in this process. They are the engines that transfer matter and information into the next cosmic eon. Our already vast universe would then probably be just one of many and only one stage in an infinite chain of universes, each one emerging from the collapse of a black hole in the previous cycle. What we have previously perceived as the beginning and end may be a mistake, and the cosmos shows us an eternal cycle of collapse, transition, and rebirth. The picture that emerges is radical. Black holes are not dead ends in physics, but birth canals for new worlds. Three models for the origin of the cosmos. If beginnings are also ends and physical rules are elastic, we find ourselves in a completely new cosmos. The new study and its groundbreaking findings make it clear how little we have known for certain about the origin and end of the cosmos. Researchers have presented us with three major cosmological narratives so far. They do not necessarily contradict each other, but shed light on the same origin, albeit from different perspectives. The classic Big Bang, bounce theories, and black hole cosmology are similar, but fundamentally different in detail. 1. The classic Big Bang describes, in standard cosmology, a universe that began around 13.8 billion years ago with an extremely hot, dense point the singularity. Space, time, matter, and energy came into being in a single event. With rapid expansion or inflation, the universe spread out within tiny fractions of a second. This theory explains many observations, such as cosmic background radiation and the large-scale distribution of galaxies, but it has its limits. Where did the singularity come from? What came before? And why does the universe exist at all? Two. To get around these problems, some physicists propose models in which the Big Bang is not an absolute beginning, but a transition. In so-called Big Bounce scenarios, an earlier universe collapses to an extremely dense state in which quantum and gravitational forces prevent a total singularity. Instead, the universe bounces back and starts all over again. This means that there would be no first beginning, but rather an eternal cycle of expansion and contraction. This fits in with ideas such as Penrose's conformal cyclic cosmology, in which universes arise as successive epochs of an infinite cosmos. Bounce models could also explain phenomena such as the astonishingly early development of galaxies. 3. The theory that universes are created inside black holes goes even further. When a star or even an entire universe collapses, its matter does not disappear into an insoluble singularity but forms a new region of space-time inside, a baby universe. In this view, our own universe is the product of a black hole in a larger mother cosmos. Interestingly, the angular momentum of the mother black hole could explain why the early galaxies studied by JWST preferentially rotate in one direction. Black holes would thus not only be endpoints of matter, but birth canals for new worlds. While the classic Big Bang tells a singular story of creation, the bounce models and black hole cosmology place the origin in a cyclical framework or even in a hierarchy of many universes. Both avoid singularity as a beginning, which has always remained an unsolved problem in classical physics. These ideas are reminiscent of the multiverse cosmology of the ancient Germanic peoples, who lived 2,000 years ago and more, and perceived their gods and adversaries distributed across nine worlds. Bounce theories emphasize the eternity of a cyclical cosmos, and black hole cosmology is a generational model in which each gives birth to new universes through portals. 
This is identical to the creation model and the god hierarchies of the Vedas, which later gave rise to Hinduism and the idea of eternal cycles in our lives as well. Of course, all the new theories in which the universe did not arise by chance, but is part of even greater orders are particularly exciting. If we transfer these physical findings to other branches of science, such as philosophy or even religion, we arrive at thoughts of infinity, rebirth, and a higher meaning. The higher cosmic order, the meaning behind everything? If we rethink the origin and nature of the universe, the question of the great orchestra conductor changes. The directions of rotation of galaxies can be explained by black hole theory, but not the chain of events and the possible diversity of universes and the enormous dimensions of this infinite chain of creation. The classic Big Bang theory tells of a radical beginning. Space, time, and matter arise from nothing. This model corresponds to a linear conception of history, like a book that begins on page one and ends at some point with the last chapter. This logic also shapes our Western thinking, birth, life, death, beginning and end. But it leaves one crucial question unanswered. Why does this first chapter exist at all? Bounce theories solve this puzzle in a different way. Here, the Big Bang is not the beginning, but the transition. Universes breathe, as it were. They expand, collapse, and emerge again. This eternal cycle resembles ideas that have existed in ancient cultures for millennia. The Indian concept of kalpas, the Greek idea of eternal recurrence. This is not about a one-time act of creation, but about a larger pattern that encompasses everything. Finally, black hole cosmology posits perhaps the most radical idea. Our universe is the child of a black hole in a mother cosmos. What looks to us like the end of matter is, in the larger scheme of things, a birth canal. Every collapse creates a gateway, and beyond this gateway, a new space-time can emerge. This idea combines physics with symbolism. Endings and beginnings are not opposites, but two sides of the same process. Above all, the cyclical ideas, which, when viewed in a larger context, make more sense than the beginning-end ideas, raise new questions. Who or what orchestrates or causes this cycle? Can a living process of becoming, passing away, and rebirth on a cosmic level be pure coincidence? Or is there an intelligence at work here? Perhaps even God? Subscribe to the channel now and be there for every new video.